Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we have a fragrance for you from the year of 1997, a fragrance that was released in the year of 1997. It's a bit of an old one. There are a decent amount of reviews on this one already, but I decided to go ahead and make a review on this one anyway. It's been one that has actually been requested and it is none other than HM by Hanae Mori. Sorry, I had to actually look up that pronunciation, but it is a Japanese, or a Japanese designer and she is the one who actually went ahead and made this fragrance. Now, HM is the male version of Butterfly, which is another Hane, Hanae Mori fragrance, basically. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the review for this particular fragrance. Now, again, this is a presentation. It's a very simple frosted bottle that says Hanae Mori on the very front of it. The cap pops off. It's actually a plastic cap and the cap says uh, HM on the very top of it. Sprayer is very decent at, at, at all, and there really isn't much to the bottle. Very simplistic design, uh, very similar to uh, the Ise Miyake uh, type of design. So I guess you could say very similar. That's all you can really say for it. Now, the 1.7, which is this size, is gonna run you about $53 retail, while the 3.4 is gonna run you about, I think around $74 retail. Again, fragrance was released in 1997, so you can find it for a lot cheaper than those prices that are listed. So shop around, see what you can actually find for this one. Either way, you can probably find a pretty good deal on it. Again, with that, let's go ahead and get into the notes of the fragrance. The notes. At the top, we have lavender, lemon, black currant, green notes. For our mid, we have iris, jasmine, rose, lily of the valley, and for our base, we have sandalwood, oak moss, cedar, amber, vanilla, tonka bean, and asterisk chocolate. Now, I say asterisk chocolate because I've seen it, you know, kind of moved around a couple places where I haven't seen the no chocolate. Some places I have seen the no chocolate. I can tell you I definitely smell a chocolatey type of a vibe to it. Now, that's not necessarily, that doesn't necessarily mean it has to have chocolate in it. And maybe the, the way the tonka and the vanilla kind of interact with one another, as well as with the citrus and the fragrance, that kind of produces that chocolate feel. So whether no notes listed or not, I get a chocolate type of smell to it. Overall, when you start off with the fragrance, I get a very heavy lemon scent that comes out at it. Lemon comes out at it, and it's got this gourmandish feel that kind of comes up in the background. The vanilla, the tonka bean, the chocolate kind of bring up and come up right on, uh, underneath the lemon. So the lemon kind of mixes with the chocolate and gives this gives it this lemony chocolate type of a smell to it. Now, for the first hour on my skin, it's very pleasant. And it comes off just like that, like a lemony chocolatey type of a vibe to it. But it sort of turns in some bits and some ways at times and it kind of feels a little bit sickly on me. I'm not sure if it's just me getting sick of the scent or if it's the way it's interacting with my skin, depending on the situation. But either way, it just kind of feels weird. Uh, that lemon chocolatey scent, a lot of people love that scent. For me, it just kind of, it feels weird is what I'm trying to say. Now, the florals in this, the mid was consists of pretty much all florals. We had, you know, iris, jasmine, rose, and lily of the valley, and all that is kind of mixed in to give it this floral, hintish type of smell. With that floral said, it doesn't come off like a womenly floral. It still comes off as a very masculine type of a scent. And the florals just kind of add this versatility to the fragrance that might not otherwise be there. Otherwise, you might just get lemon and chocolate. Uh, but with the florals, it kind of adds to it this depth, this versatility to it that um, doesn't necessarily translate to the versatility of the fragrance, but it adds versatility, uh, I'm sorry, versatility of usage, but it adds versatility to the fragrance itself. So it kind of comes off a little bit strange to me. That said, it is, I want to say, it is very unique is something. There aren't many fragrances that I've smelled that smell any anywhere close to something like this. It is a it is a gourmand oriental at its core. So I, I know they kind of fit in the same category, but think of it smelling like food and oriental kind of mixed into the flow that kind of give it this very unique type of a take to it. Sprays, I go anywhere between two and four sprays on this one. Very standard. I don't I try not to put too much on it. Uh, which brings me to the occasion, I casually wear it. I feel that it's not very good for work and it's not very good for, you know, uh, I mean, I guess you could wear it to dates and stuff like that. I can definitely see it being worn like that. It's not my personal preference, just not my style uh, to be wearing this type of a fragrance for dates, but you certainly could do it. I recommend casual though. 
For the season, fall, winter, I think is the optimal time to actually be wearing this fragrance. If you're not in fall, winter, I think it can tend to get a little bit cloying. And especially with the, uh, to me at least, how strange it actually smells and comes off, it just comes off as really weird and it does become cloying to me in the summer or, in, or when it's actually hot weather out. You can pull it off. I would suggest, you know, toning down on the sprays, go a little bit lighter on the trigger because this will radiate off of your skin more so than most other fragrances that you're going to come across. Age group, any age group can wear this one, whether you be a high schooler and whether you be a college person, whether you be a grown man that is well, you know, in his 50s, 60s, you can all pull this one off. It really is just a matter of style and whatnot, whether or not you like this and whether or not you want this to kind of fit your aura. And for performance, good, I get good longevity, I get good projection. The sillage on this I found to be varying. Sometimes I've gotten great sillage where I've left, left a scent trail, people have smelled me past the room. Other times, not so good. So I'm going to kind of give this one a below average on sillage. But performance overall on this fragrance is actually pretty good. Very good, actually. Okay? So what did other people think? For all of you who don't know, I always spend time. I get 100 people's opinions. I go out to Times Square, get 100 people, random people's opinions from all over the world figure out what they think about this particular fragrance on just first sniff. 65 liked it, 30 people disliked it, and 5 people thought it was so-so. Of the people who liked it, the common phrases were sweet, attractive, pleasant, sexy. Um, the 30 people who disliked it said that it was weird, said that it was too sweet, um, said that it was a little bit too strong. And, you know, there was a mix between the people who said that it was so-so overall. So, uh, this one overall, positive remarks from people. Again, not my cup of tea. So if I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a rating, I'm gonna honestly have to give this one a four out of 10. I give it a four out of 10. I just can't wear this one. It just comes off as really strange to me. Uh, it's contrary to a lot of people and what a lot of people think about the fragrance. And I would highly suggest that you go ahead and give this one a try. A lot of people love this one. That lemon chocolate mix uh, kind of gives it this really unique and very, uh, a lot of people say sexy vibe that comes to it, but it's just not one that I can kind of get down with. It comes off strange on my skin, sometimes a little bit sour, sometimes a little bit rancid on my skin, but that has changed a couple of times, but it has given me that type of vibe to it. So with that, I can't really give it a good fragrance rating. Performance wise, I think it performs very good for fragrance and you're not going to be lacking in terms of performance, but to me, it's all about the smell, and the smell is really what's dragging it down. What also is dragging it down in my ratings is a little bit of the versatility. It doesn't really have, I can't really think of any other situations why I would really want to wear this fragrance outside of casually wearing it, you know, kind of around, whether it be around the house, whether it be going out, you know, groceries or whatever. I would, you know, it's just not my preference to actually wear it going on dates or whatever the case may be, or to work for that. I think it's a little bit too strong for work. All that said, try it out. See if you like it. This is definitely one that you have to try for yourself and determine if you like, okay? So if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free. Leave me a note down below. Send me a message. Tell me about your experiences with Hane, which is HM by Hana E Mori. Sorry, I always have to kind of slow myself down and pronounce that, okay? Thank you. Take care of yourselves and have a great day.